Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Tutor. This is Arokya. In this video, we are going to see uh, Telegram bot continuation. Um, till last video, we saw how to handle message handler in Telegram bot. In this video, I'm going to show you. Uh, you know, you maybe have a some scenario like I should not allow all the users in Telegram to interact with my bot. I should restrict. A specific user base to access my telegram bot so we are going to see how to restrict users uh, for our bot in this video so let's see here uh, I have a script let me zoom a bit okay this is my config file um, here I have my token so from next video i will not be showing this uh, config file so you can assume this token is in this config file so here i imported yaml and i load this config file here this is my base path which is my uh, current script path and here i am loading this config file and uh, this updater as you saw in the last videos we are initiating with the token and we are using the context Okay, we are creating dispatcher, updater and all the same thing. Now only part I have added here is, I have uh, added a function called restricted user space. And just to, uh, just to, for testing, I am just sending the reply back like uh, you are a valid user. So now we are going to see how to utilize this message handler to restrict user base for our bot. So for that, I'm going to add one user handler, which is nothing but my message handler. And this is the place where we are going to handle that filters. Okay, dot here we have one, um, one filter type called chat. In this chat, you can mention if you want to restrict a uh, user or uh, based on one chat ID which is a uh, chat ID is for a specific user if you want to restrict with one chat ID you can do with the chat ID here I am going to restrict with uh, multiple users for that I am going I am going to give a parameter called username and this username is nothing but my config of general uh, top level key inside that i have usernames which is going to be a list that's what i'm going to provide here usernames okay so you can give a single username also you can give a, a list of usernames also here i'm giving list of usernames where my list contains only one username here i remove uh, one this is a valid username okay now we have given and the callback method for this handler will be restricted user space which is our uh, this function okay now i saved and i need to add this handler to my dispatcher dot add handler user handler okay that's it then next we can start polling let's run this Okay, my bot handler is running. So let's test with uh, this my bot. I'm saying hi. And that's it, valid user. Okay, so this uh, success case is done. And let's uh, test with one more case. Um, for testing sake, I give Arokya Arulnadin 1 as a username to be allowed. Okay, let me run this and i'll say hi again it's not going to respond you because you are not in the valid usernames list which is this one so this is how so you can probably if you maintain a user base in your uh, database or somewhere you know from your user profile you can have you can get the actual user uh, telegram usernames and you can fetch all those username and you can handle uh, you can allow only those usernames to this particular bot so like this we can restrict users from accessing our bot 
so that's it for uh, this video i'll meet you guys with the uh, next video with uh, further concepts thanks for watching if you like this video please do subscribe share and like